I'm Christine Meinertsma, I'm from Rotterdam. I'm a product designer and I specialize in uh, the process of how things are made. It's interesting to make processes transparent, so I really try to incorporate my way of working in the still existing industries because I really believe in local production, also on a sort of serious scale. I don't really see myself as a social designer, but I can understand that from the idea of what social design is, I would fit in. I just think that designing a product should make sense for whatever lies behind the product. So the crops, the animals, the people making it, so everything that's involved in the process. So in that sense, um, for me it's logical that product design is social, it should be social design. In, in a way. To try to do a project that's a little bit similar to the pig project about the, the book that was about everything made of one pig. I wanted to do a project that was similar in its intensity, but that would make me as a designer more a part of the process and also be a part of a positive process rather than a negative process. So with the pig I felt like I was more moving against the current and with the flax is a material that I really believe in, that it's good to use and it's really, yeah, our climate is great for it. So in that sense it's different because I'm really a part of it. I bought the whole plot. I'm, trying to make products out of it and following all the people that are involved. So it's very much, I'm very much more connected to it, I think. Yeah, so I started following a farmer growing flax in the Netherlands. Flax is a crop that's used for making linen. It's something that's historically been used a lot in our part of the world because we have a really great climate for it. So before we started wearing cotton, everything was wool and flax. And the industry now is really yeah, on its last feet. There are a few companies that are doing well, but 90% uh, of the materials being exported to countries like China or India because it's cheaper. So yeah, I was following this farmer and then there was a Chinese offer for buying the plot and then I decided to buy it myself. So I'm the happy owner of 10,000 kilos of plex and I'm developing it, but also uh, together with filmmaker Rolf van Tour, we are following all the steps of uh, people involved in the process. Check Baggage was my graduation work from the design academy here. Uh, it was a book that was about security measurements. At the time the world was very much frightened because 9-11 had just happened and on a more local yeah, base in the Netherlands a famous politician had been killed so people were very much into security measurements and I felt like a lot of these measurements are also sort of like a fake way of making us safe. So uh, exploring a one week so Schiphol airport, uh, taken items was a way of showing the seriousness but also the sometimes uh, powerlessness of, of trying to, to secure everyone. Well, a really literally, I think a literal thing that would fit into social design was a project I did about Loes Veenstra, who is a knitter in Rotterdam. It was a project that's really atypical for what I do. I don't usually do projects like that, but I was asked to make a work with more than 500 sweaters that were knit by this one single woman in Rotterdam. And uh, I felt it was a pity to make something new out of the sweaters because they were already products but they were just never worn. So she kept all the sweaters in her house for, for 50 years. So, but they were never worn, which I thought was a tragedy. So then we decided like a big feast for one day. That was a surprise um, with the whole street basically wearing her sweaters color coordinated. So uh, yeah, that, I think that was like something really literally uh, fitting the description. My advice is to really stay close to your heart and uh, just give yourself five years to get where you want to get. If you didn't get there, then reevaluate.